Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bow video. Today I would like to talk about my phone, Galaxy S10 Plus. I've got it for a year now and I've got fair good opinion what it is and what it isn't and I would like to share my experience. Mind you, this video is not a product review. That's my experience with this phone in the last year what I like, what I don't like, and what I would like everyone to know. Um, also, I would like to remind you that my experience could be different from your experience, but if you're in the market to buy one, and I believe it's a good time to buy one, the reason is that because it's one year old model, so we've got S20s now and S30s coming soon, so it's reasonably priced. It's really good phone if you're looking for certain phone type and I would like to describe what I like what I don't like so you make your own uh, mind all right let's start with don't likes and the reason is that because um, I think when you spend so much money on high-end phone you expect yeah. something um, I'd say short of extraordinary and this phone is not one um, my previous phone was Huawei uh, P20 Pro and the previous phone felt same or better than current one. The model I've got here is S10 Plus 512 uh, uh, gig. So what that means, that means that it's the top level of dual SIM non 5g samsung phone in s10 series so it has huge battery yet the first point of my pain that battery does not last a day the way i use it and i use no differently from uh, my p20 pro p20 pro was going well for two plus days uh, with this phone if i use it too much it runs out by 6 7 pm if I use it just all right, I can survive one day without recharging it. I think it's really poor effort uh, from Samsung to actually optimize their own software. And the CPU. As you may know, this phone has two separate CPUs. In America, they're using Snapdragon. In rest of the countries, I think the rest of the countries are using Exynos. So Exynos variant of this phone, not as powerful and it's consuming battery more. So it gives you less performance and choose more through the battery. Look, I'm not big on um, benchmarks or anything like that. I just felt that this phone, for what it's worth, is not performing well. And battery size is 4,700 milliamp, I believe so. That's a huge battery. I'm not sure how Samsung manages not to um, optimize the software so at least it will last one full day uh, uh, with heavy use. So um, so what I mentioned so far is the battery life sucks. The speed of the phone is good but if you buy high-end phone you expect a little bit more. The reason why I think this phone is good by now because the uh, mid-range latest and greatest probably cost same or more money and this was high-end phone year or year and a half ago so if you can score this phone for same money as you buy mid-range right now I would still go for this phone so it's not all bad news it's still a place for uh, and time for your money and I believe time is right now the another gripe I've got with this phone is um, it's beautiful and slick but first of all it attracts fingerprints I guess every phone does so it's not the biggest complaint but biggest one is if I would use it without case that I've got original Samsung case here uh, it's actually always slips out and it's such a fragile phone the screen goes from from edge to edge if you drop it on the floor most likely you will crack the screen and most likely uh, you will lose the phone or you need to pay two to three hundred dollars Australian dollars to repair the screen I'm not sure about pricing now just speculating and if I would crack screen on this phone and it wouldn't work I would not consider doing this because I believe my money is uh, spent elsewhere better 
so be careful if you buy this phone it's beautiful beautiful phone but it's very slick and very slippery um and i would definitely buy case look my choice is something galaxy case because that a bit of um uh, software integration with the case so the way they can answer calls and the way it behaves but you can choose any case and I recommend not use this phone without the case talking about Samsung case I briefly touch it not happy I'm not sure if it's visible but I've got um, cracks here uh, it's not as robust as it should be and I never drop phone on the floor so case is great but it does not worth money that Samsung uh, charging you for uh, for it Another thing that I would like to mention is um, fingerprint unlock. First time ever Samsung used in screen, built in screen fingerprint unlock. An idea is great, that means there's no physical space for buttons on the phone. But it's a slower fingerprint unlock that I ever used. And I'm even comparing to Galaxy S7 or even earlier version. So you probably would, will take you a little bit time to adjust. However phone you're coming from, if it's not too old, you may find it's a bit struggle to understand that takes time and adjustment for that fingerprint to work. However, if when you adjust your expectation and you know uh, where to press and how to hold it, it actually works quite well. It's just not as snappy. So it takes a couple of seconds um, for a uh, phone to unlock, for banking uh, software to uh, unlock and work and so on. So I think this is where my complaints about this phone kind of end. So to, to, uh, to, to mention it again, it's a battery, it's uh, how slippery it is, and fingerprint unlock. So those three things need to, they're not deal breaker, but those are you need to watch for. What I do like about this phone is, uh, the phone is, or has a fast storage. So until today, I was filming most of my video, videos on this phone, YouTube videos. Yes, we had a couple of complaints of quality. I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, I'm just trying to relay my knowledge and experience to other people. But um, videos from the um, rear camera, from the front camera, and, and, and pictures are fine. If you're not uh, shooting videos in 4K, if you do just 1080p, the video stabilization is great. So if you buy phone for camera, as one and a half year old phone, you actually can score a good camera if you go with this model. I think every model has different uh, camera setups. I'm talking specifically about S10 Plus 512 gig um, uh, model. Uh, what else I like, coming from previously before P20 Pro had another Samsung, everything is predictable. However, Samsung implementation of software suck, they are consistent with their approach. So if you're migrating from one Samsung environment to another Samsung environment, the transition is um, smooth, the transition is predictable, and your applications will be familiar. Um, Oh yeah, the another thing I didn't like, and forgot to mention, I just disabled the button, but there's a Bixby button here. You can remap it to whatever I want, I remap it to uh, Google Home. But I think it's not necessary uh, for something to have that button. And every time I try to adjust volume, I hit accidentally that button and goes totally separate function. So I don't like physical Bixby button as well. Um, so to wrap up, uh, this phone is, if you would buy it new at the price that Samsung want to charge, I think you would be disappointed. If you buy this phone on the current market because you don't want to buy latest and greatest or you would like to buy latest and greatest from mid-range phone, I still believe if you find good price for this one, it's a quite credible option compared to most of the mid-range phones that I currently see on the market. Also, if you don't do heavy gaming, if, if you take picture or two, if you do mostly social media and you do have access to charger, uh, I would still go for this phone. So I've got no regrets buying it, but um, to wrap up this video, I will think twice next time before buying another Samsung product uh, until I, I read more reviews and uh, understand what people like or don't like about that product. 
If you like this video or any other videos on my channel or new to this channel, can you please subscribe, hit that like button and smash that uh, notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Also in the comments down section below, can you please tell me if you have uh, another Samsung phone, what are your experiences and if you would like me to compare this phone to any other phone. Again, I'm not creating any um, uh, benchmark videos for mobiles but I tend to change my phone every two years and I can describe my user experiences best based on what experience so far thank you so much for watching Greg from Brisbane until next video